Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome to my channel. Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome to my channel. Thanks for being here. So, one question that I get a lot is, how do I, in my lab, emulate the Internet? How do I run a simulation of the Internet? And how do we know that this isn't a simulation inside of a simulation inside of a simulation? Anyway, so to simulate the internet, really all you need is one of these. This is an Edge Router X. This is the lowest cost Edge Router that Ubiquity sells. Or you could use a, a MicroTik. This is a MicroTik router board. It's a five port. Um, really, you, and you don't even have to use these two brands. You could build your own box. But what you need is you need a router, a router, and you need to be able to address different ports. So I'm going to show you how we can set up or simulate the internet on one of these guys. We're going to use the Edge Router X in this demo. And, you know, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's, uh, let's get to it. I got to power this guy on, factory default it, plug into it, and um, then I'll show you exactly how to set it up to simulate the internet in your lab. Okay, so I factory defaulted that uh, Edge Router X, and now I've got my networking sharing center up, and I'm going to go to my Ethernet connection, and I'm going to put the uh, static IP on as if we were going to configure this Edge Router right after taking it out of the box. This is exactly what we're doing. We're performing the steps like if this thing had just come out of the box. So. Uh, will be 1.22, and we'll just OK, OK, OK. And then we're going to bring up our web browser and log into the router. OK, so here's our login screen. This is a, an edge router that is set to default. So it's UBNT, UBNT. You can use that in the lab, but do not use it out in the real world. So you can see we logged in. It says router is in default config. Do you want to start the basic setup wizard? And the answer is no. So in this simulation, we're going to do static routing. Okay, and that's because most of the time when I'm simulating, I am simulating, uh, or for videos, I am simulating devices that do static routing. And they do the static routing, and they're either getting an IP via DHCP from your ISP or your ISP is giving you a static IP and you're configuring that. When I work with other clients who need dynamic routing, we work with all kinds of protocols and things to make that happen uh, that are not static. So you could, they are dynamic. But I'm not going to get into the dynamic in this video. We're getting into the static. So what we're going to do is we are going to accomplish three things. Okay, We're going to leave port number one as 192.168.1.1. And the reason that we're going to do that is so anytime we need to change the IP addresses that we're simulating or emulating, we don't have to factory default this router. So you could take this router when you're done and label it Internet and stick it on the shelf in the lab and, and just have it there for that. Then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put two different IP addresses or two different IP addressing schemes on two different ports and uh, we're not going to have any firewall rules or anything like that because we are literally using this for routing we are not using it for firewalling so let's take a look at that so you can see we're plugged into eth0 and we are going to leave that alone for the moment now a word of caution if you are going to be simulating 192.168.1.0/24 somewhere I would change this or don't simulate 192.168.1 one or the other so just kind of remember that so we've got our router we're going to look at our interfaces and we are going to use eth1 and eth2 so uh, in this particular example we don't really have any requirements so I'm just going to show you how we can randomly assign some IP addresses to this and simulate the internet. So this is your lab. 
you can do whatever you want as long as it doesn't leave the lab and you you know if you're running a dynamic route uh, routing protocol as long as you don't like spill bogus routes out into somebody else's network you're fine as long as this stays in your lab lab it up break it figure it out that's what the labs for that's what these videos are for to help you out but here we're just going to come into eth1 and we're going to go into config and we're going to give it a manual IP address. And here we're going to use uh, 64.34.50.1. And then we're going to save it. So we have just taken, I don't know who owns uh, 64.34.50.1 in the real world. I have absolutely no idea. No idea. Uh, but we're using it in the lab. Then we're going to come over here to ETH2, and we're going to do the same thing, manually define, and look at this. This is a bold move, Cotton. So you'll recognize the first three octets of that, and I have, <laughs> this is the lab, right? So, I mean, I can do this inside the lab. Um... And so now all I have to do is hook, you know, another router to this. So here's the deal. If, so this is a router. And when we, t we talked in another video about how, how routers work, right? So if a router knows in its route table where a network exists, it can send it directly there. If it doesn't know where it is, then it's going to send it out its default gateway or gateway of last resort. So we will be able to route between these two networks using this router, no problems, because it's these routers, these networks are physically connected to this router. So this router knows where they are. So when we're designing our, you know, equipment to hang off of here, we're obviously going to put the WAN interface of uh, the router that plugs into ETH2 is going to be on the 8.8.8.0 slash 24 network so that it can talk directly to this interface. And anything hanging off of ETH1 is going to be in the 64.34.50.1. Now, we wasted a lot of addresses here. So what we could actually do is go in here and make this, um, because the slash 24 is going to give you 254 usable IPs, we could do a slash 30, which is going to give us essentially two usable IPs. So it would be 50.1 and 50.2. So whatever device you plug in here, you would now give it 64.34.50.2 slash 30 or 255, 255, 255, 252. We could do the same thing over here. Now, remember, you can use any of these IPs you want. Now, if you get goofy like I did and you use this 8.8.8.8 .8 and you are on your ETH0 if you've got this plugged in so that these can get out to the Internet because they're going to be natted um, at that point. So, you know, it, <laughs> it'll you'll get out to the Internet. Um, but if internally you're using 8.8.8.8 .8 is DNS and you've got it configured inside of your network, your DNS may not work. So just keep that in mind. But uh, that's it. That's literally how I simulate the Internet. And that's how a lot of people simulate the Internet um, and do routing and stuff like this. This is a very basic example. Routing can get very complicated very quickly. And that is something that we're eventually going to touch on. Um, but, you know, lab it up. Lab it up. Throw a couple of USGs on each of those ports or edge routers and configure them and, and do your thing. If you've got any questions, as always, post them below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those Amazon affiliate links down below. They don't change your price at all, but uh, they kick a couple bucks to the channel so I can keep buying these routers. And, you know, thanks again for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.